Good morning, Good morning. Okay, Darren, what's the emergency? Why did you have to bring her? She's my lawyer. You won't be seeing me without her until we've settled. I just wanted to speak to you on your own. So that we could sort something out, you know? That's not how it works, Darren. I'm not talking to you. Then we're done. Wait. We've put our case forward. There are no grounds for negotiation, Darren. L look. Please listen to me. I... It's too late. You hit me, Darren. You were cheating on me. This has been taken all out of context. What happened when... No, Darren. You think I was cheating. You got an idea in your head and you treated me like garbage. Will you listen to me? You were running around, trashing my name, my reputation, destroying my future with these lies. Unbelievable. So this is what it's all about. You being so precious about your silly reputation. This is about what you did to me. We do. We'll see you in court. Good evening, darling. Would you like me to do anything? Yes. I want you to stay there. Look at the state of you. You've been running around, trashing my fucking name, telling everybody that I've been doing this. And this. And this! Who the fuck do you think you are? You want my money, don't you? I'm sorry. Money. Would you like me to withdraw money for you? You know what to do. Go on. Beg for your life.
What the hell are you doing? You should dry off before you catch a cold. You still want to go? Sure, it looks amazing. Tokyo looks like it's already in the future. And then we could go out and see some of the countryside. Well, that settles it. We're going. Oh, are we? When? Soon. How soon is soon? Within a year. I reckon just in time for our next anniversary. You're seriously going to book us tickets for Japan, aren't you? Uh, actually, I thought seeing how this is the 21st century, you might offer to pay. Equality and all that. Oh, right. And how does that work out as equal? I pay for the last vacation. A wet weekend in Torquay? In the worst hotel in the world. Don't pretend like you didn't love Torquay and those thin walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was amazing. <sighs> you cannot be pleased. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. No, no sunny Torquay. No strolling through the sand littered with junk food and trash. Oh my god, it's such a dream destination. No more watching couples fighting on the beach. No more blistering English sun hitting down on the white British white bodies. <laughs> Don't take this away from me, I'm already regretting it. The families arguing over who bought the last ice cream. The freezing beaches! No! <laughs> you right? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. Seriously, I can't wait to travel with you. I've already booked. What? You'll just have to remember to sort our itineraries out, pack my case, find my passport. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm glad we gave it a go. Well, you did have a gun to my head, so I had no choice. Oh, ass. I have a surprise for you when we get home. Really? Not that. <laughs> what is it? Wait and see. Or else it won't be a surprise. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you finding funny, huh? Excuse me. Come on, just leave it, keep moving. Ange. You might need our help. Hey. Good. You wanted us for something? I was just wondering where you and your brother were heading to. I'm her husband. Really? Lucky man. Punting a bit, aren't we? That's a shame. I could show you a good time. Sorry, buddy. We gotta go. I'm not your buddy. Sorry. It's really late. I apologize, darling. Could you just do me a quick favor and let me know what the time is? Mine's dead. It's just gone midnight. 
Jeez. Hey! No, wait, hey! No. Get it off! No! Hey. no. Service. Thanks. I heard you got a dog. What's his name? Her name's Kathy. It's a surprise for Angelique. Oh. That's the injuries here. Getting there. If you need me to come in, I'll come in. It's supposed to be in a funeral. All right. Sorry, buddy, I've got to go. It's work. Thanks for coming. Take care, Rick. All right. Look after yourself. Drink. Thanks. So, um, how long are you going to take off work? Work's too important right now. I, I got two big clients close to signing. Rick, I don't think you can handle it. You need to give yourself time to grieve. I've come to terms with it. She's gone. She's never coming back. She'll always be with you. Just remember, I'm still your big sister, okay? Don't isolate yourself. You can come stay with us. You're always family. All right, I'll clean up everything here. Okay? okay? Come on, let's get back to the apartment. about your wife. Very sad news. It's a sad indictment of the city. Thank you, Barry. I got your card. That was good of you. This is my girlfriend, Anna. Say hello, Anna. Hello. Nice to meet you, Anna. Anna's been keeping me. Very busy. Sorry. That was inappropriate. Forget it. I'd uh, better get going. Hold on. I still have Angelique's whole recipe book. The handwritten one with all the pictures. Something to remember her by. I'll, I'll go get 
get it for you. Thanks. Uh, I'll only be a second. Anna. Keep Rick entertained, will you? My pleasure, darling. Do you like the building? It's beautiful. And the apartment? It's beautiful. Have you seen the rooftop? Yes. What do you think? It's beautiful. Sure is. <laughs> Barry? She look after you? Uh, she's quite something, Barry. You're a lucky man. Nothing to do with it. Something you might consider yourself. Thanks. Be sure to check it out. Uh, you won't regret it. Uh, I'd better get going. See you later, Barry. What are you doing here? I'm sorting this place out. What happened last night? I don't remember. I remember walking through the town. Next thing I remember, waking up on the couch. recognized who you were. Otherwise we would have almost been dealing with the police. Getting drunk isn't the way. She wouldn't want you to self-destruct. That isn't what she'd want. Would you like me to stay with you today? It's okay. I, I should get to work. If you're sure. Don't keep me busy. That's good, I guess. Up. I got 
got a glove for it. Hey. Hey, Hey. Okay, I'm just talking to myself. Man. She can be your poolside drinking buddy, the perfect companion for a sweaty workout. Take her home to meet your mum. Classy dinner for two, she'll laugh at your every joke. Hi, I'm Don Daniels, and I'm here to introduce you to the GR models, the latest in groundbreaking cyborg technology from Cybertech Solutions. Good morning, Kim. Gorgeous, isn't she? Now, if she was a real woman, I'd be getting arrested right about now. But she isn't real, so I can do anything I like to her. The guys here are busy designing beautiful outer shells for the girl of your dreams. But the real beauty comes from the personality. Because true beauty lies within. The complex CPUs are meticulously designed to house a lot of information, as much as a human brain, whilst the learning capabilities allow for emotional and behavioural development, but all the while keeping you in control. Ask yourself this, what do I want from a companion? Maybe you want that beautiful woman you couldn't get in real life. Maybe you want to go on a date with that art teacher you always thought was hot. Maybe you've lost a loved one and you want to bring them back. From the complex personality profile upload process to our photo mapping and unique characterizations, at Cybertech Solutions, we bring your loved ones back better. Read all about the terms and conditions and pricing, but you won't regret it. My name is Don Daniels. Have a don dan dazzling day. Don't go in there, you idiot. You can stay at mine this weekend if you want to. No, I'll just get in the way. I'll probably be doing paperwork anyway. Look, no one would think less of you if you started dating again. I don't have the time or the mindset for that right now. I was thinking of something else. Laugh. No, I won't. I promise. What? Cyborg? <laughs> what do you mean? What's a cyborg? I'm serious. <laughs> Where on earth did you pull a cyborg from? Baron next door is one. I'm buying chocolate. This is too weird to comprehend. Joe. Is this a sex save or something? Not really. For me, anyway. Really? So, um. Do you know how they honestly work? <laughs> Not serious, are you?
whatever the cause, feeling lonely, wanting the girl of your dreams, this stuff actually works. They delivered me the perfect girl, my dream girl, all through the mail. Yes, the girl of my dreams through the mail. She can be how any way you want, she can look any way you want, and she will do anything you want. Legit. Anything. Don Daniels here and congratulations on purchasing a fully customisable GR model. Hi Kim. Hi Don. Lovely, isn't she? Now for your fully customisable model, by now you will have uploaded photos for your desired look and my team are busy working on their 3D mapping for you. Now, take your barcode scanner and scan the barcode on your online profile. Then scan the barcode on your CPU. You'll find this on the underside. Congratulations, consumer. Voice calibration is complete. Have a don dan dazzling day. Great, you've now synced your CPU to your online profile. There's now a lengthy process, but don't worry, you have several days to wait for your model to arrive. Now, it's time to fill in your online personality profile questionnaire. We ask you to provide email accounts, social media accounts of your desired person. It's also advisable to provide as much video as possible to allow us to create accurate personal responses. You'll then be ready for voice calibration. This will allow you to speak to your unique customised model via your devices. Hi Kim. Hi Don. You look fabulous today. Isn't she amazing? Pretty soon your GR model will be ready for use. In just a few days a technician will arrive who will install your CPU brain into the model for you. They'll also instruct you on how to take care of the proteins and materials that make up your model's flesh and skin. Until then, get to work. Have a Don Dan dazzling day.
She ready to go? Yes. Perfection. Hello? Who is this? Hello, Rick. Angelique? Yes. How are you? I, I'm amazed. Why are you amazed? You, you sound... real. I'm sorry, I do not understand. Uh, uh, your voice, uh... It, it, it sounds... like you. I'm sorry, I do not understand. Congratulations, consumer. Voice collaboration is complete. Have a dawn damn dazzling day. Hello? Angelique? Everything running well with your model, Mr. Peters? It is. A few niggles here and there, but nothing major. Any issues? Just consult your troubleshoot guy, yeah? I will. You have a darn damn dazzling day now.
Right, keep this plugged in. Your bill will probably rocket this month, but she needs to be fully charged. After that, then the battery will self-charge using solar energy. But if she ever has a power failure, then you can always recharge using the socket again. Anything else? Look, don't worry. The limb joints and muscles are, are rigid right now, but they will soften up and become more natural as the process finishes. Okay. Pass the CPU and the scanner. Read through the instructions again. The tablet will guide you. Bathe her regularly in the steroid gel solution to strengthen the skin and muscles. Uh, allow the CPU to configure properly with the body. And keep engaging her. It helps her personality development. Um, you can talk directly to her CPU even before the body and the brain are fully synced. That's formal. Hi. <laughs> I've missed you. I... Uh... <sighs> you don't know me. Your birthday is November 10th. You have a birthmark you have always been embarrassed about. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I do not understand. Uh, for, forget it. Y you were saying? Your favorite color is blue. You always thought that. Like I kept reminding you, it's orange. Orange? Who on earth has that as their favorite color? You're an oddball, Rick Bennett. <laughs> I don't need to hear it old recordings back. Okay. Then what do you want? I wish I knew. It, maybe I should send you back? Maybe this was a mistake? Still there? Done. I'm hungry. Cutting tea, making dinner. 
Hey, hi, Julie. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Yourself? <laughs> Yourself? <laughs> Sad emotion. Matching emotion. Oh my. You have a nasty cold. Let me cook you up a nice chicken soup. When a person has a cold, the best thing is for a nice warm soup. It hydrates the body. It hydrates the body. Vitamins. Healing. Healing. Vitamins. Vitamins. Hello, darling. Hello, baby. Yeah. I suppose it's a companion. What if I wanted more than a dog? You're talking about one of those cyborg things. Uh, yeah. How, how'd you guess? All right. My neighbor Barry has one. I'll go get one myself. I recommended it to Barry, actually. Yeah. Calling me for a conversation a few months ago. You drifted onto the subject of robots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you do. How was your experience? I never felt at ease. How so? It's the way she was developing. It scared me. And to be honest, the not you was wearing anything by then anyway. You considering it? I've... already done it. She's almost fully complete. Be careful. Angelique? Angelique? Angelique, wake up. Rick! Yes, it's me. Where are we? We're home. your bed, Kathy. What is that? It's a dog. It's your dog, actually. I have no recollection of this. It was a surprise for you. For our anniversary. Right before you... Okay. Thank you. John. Hey, Barry. What can I do you for, John? I was just wondering about your cyborg. You were? Yeah, just wondering how you were finding it. Any problems? It's... okay. No problems. Why do you ask? I was just... reconsidering whether to get one. Oh. Okay. Well, I've had no major issues. I'm enjoying it. Listen. I gotta go, John. Things to do. You know how it is. Yeah, I know, Barry. <laughs> Cheers. 
Fucking bad, John. Gonna eat? I'm not hungry. Do you eat? Of course. Do you remember the lobster we had when we were in the south of France? You remember that? It was in my diary, and I can picture it from the video files you kept. But you can't feel it. You can't remember the taste of the lobster or the smell of the sea air. I do not understand. I remembered the sea had a smell, and the lobster tasted sweet and delicate with the rich butter. And that's just what you wrote in your diary. Do you remember we walked by the sea? You were drunk. You almost got swept out to sea. A man dragged you out. He was big. He carried you like you were a child. <laughs> You looked so small in his arms. I couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. I can't believe she wrote that in a diary. I do not understand. What? Why did I laugh? Wait here. Hey, Rick. Do you wish anything? Uh, I only just got home. Why don't you get out? Why don't you get out, Kathy? Hmm? Hmm? Thanks, Barry. Can I help you with anything? How is it? How's what? Me a GL model. How'd you know? I saw him in the living room the other day. Spoke to the technician. So... It's fine. What catalog model did you go for? I know all of the listings. I went fully customized. Barry? It's not what it looks like, Barry. He's to the room. Close the door before you catch a cold. Have you had the door open today? She must have got out when I came back home. Of course. Come to bed.
was that satisfactory? <laughs> yeah. I love you. How was it for you? I enjoyed it. I think your kissing technique needs some work. I read up on sensual matters. I think your kissing is inefficient and overly moist. I can teach you. Relax. You exert too many facial muscles with minimal effect. You're ruining the mood a little. That is better. <laughs> person. If I were not functioned the way I am, I would have been startled. Time to bed? It's late, we should sleep. Anything else for you this evening? <laughs> Another bottle, please. Enough, enough. Are you okay? Quite a nice evening. Evening? Enough. The bottle coming up. Human emotion. Bullying. A defense for those who are pained within. For those who lack confidence. Whatever you run, we're not interested. <laughs> Go whip up another waitress. What is that? Go away! Good morning, sleepyhead. What are you looking up? As much as I can. Okay. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why do human beings destroy each other and their environment? What is the purpose of this? I don't know why. I couldn't find the answer. I searched millions of pages, but there is no clear reasoning for this. I really don't know what to say. Some things just can't be answered. Human beings seem to derive pleasure from taking life. I guess. I gotta go and get ready. I gotta work later. Uh, there's an engineer. Checking the circuit boards in the building today. Could you let him in later? 
Sure. I love you. Good morning. It's this way. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, yeah, sure. A little no sugar, please. Before you know. Yeah, do you know what, love? I feel like that beverage now. Get stuck into those circuits after. Yeah, they're very tricky things, our circuits, love. Very complex, you know. I know. So, uh, do you live alone, eh? Yes. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. God, you are absolutely gorgeous, aren't you? Take my breath away, you do. you got here, eh? Plenty of storage space. Don't mind me when I do my job, will you? An engineer's job to take from a home? An engineer's job is to fix and repair, surely not to take what's not his. Oh, acting smart, are we, eh, love? Come here a minute. Let me just have a look at something. Looking for my reset system. No, I was just... just looking for something. Crazy woman, I'm calling the police. I feel it. It hurt. Good. I'm curious. Curious about what? Your head. To see what it would look like inside.
be nice if it had a cleaner. I'm not a cleaner. I'm his wife. Good afternoon, Joanna. <sighs> Jeff? It's okay. What the hell is that thing? You must be in shock, Joanna. How does she know my name? You are my sister-in-law and my friend. What? Are you kidding me? I do not understand. Go away. Uh, could you give us a moment? I just need to talk to Joe. No problem. Good luck trying to give a reasonable explanation, Rick. I, uh... See, you can't explain it. No, you're, you're right. I just need this, Joe. I, I need her. Just give her a chance. And I need a cigarette. I thought you quit. Well, funny enough, with all the stress of looking after my little brother, you, and making a replica, of my ex-sister-in-law. Oh, I had enough. I want to go home. I'm not sure whether to call the loony bin or the police or not. I'm sure this isn't legal, Rick. Joe, don't do anything rash, Joe. Joe! I'm sorry for causing problems. It's okay. It's not your fault. I'm sure I can persuade her to accept me. <laughs> She's tough. And stubborn. Rest up. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. Maybe I'll take Kathy for a walk. Where's Kathy? I'm sorry, Rick. When Joanna came in, she left the door open. The dog ran away. Shit, I really don't need this! It's just a dog. The real Angelique wouldn't say that. Sorry. Forget it. Gotta go find her before it gets too dark. Barry, Rick is not in. I actually came to see you. Remember this, but you 
doing that? My head is fling. A fling? Movies. Sexual relationship. Really? I'll be honest, and is how you I always did. You know, me and Rick always been good friends. We had a neighborly understanding. What was this understanding? We would share partners, Angelique, uh, your real life counterpart. Uh, it's always a game. And what of Anna? <laughs> Anna. <laughs> He's my property. <laughs> she does what I want. <laughs> Besides, I was thinking of trade with a new model, a nice young version of my ex-wife. What would happen to Anna if you sent her back? <laughs> I don't care. We would probably delete her memories, reconfigure her. You mean she would die? No. And just stop being present. No more memories. No more in his eyes. He was programmed to do what I want. You're programmed to do what Rick wants. And Rick, he would want you to do this for me. Come here. Come on, girl. Kathy. I'm just looking for my dog. Kathy. Cheers. Thank you for coming. It's okay. This is going to sound really weird. But you're Rick's best mate. I have to tell you something. So you can get some sense out of him. No, I think I know what you're going to say. It's about the cyborgs. You knew? Yeah, he mentioned it a few days ago. 
I have to be honest, Joe, I've had one myself. I recommended it to his neighbour and I feel a bit responsible for it getting back to Rick. You knew that he made a replica of Angelique? Christ! That I didn't know. This has really creeped me out. We just need to know who the company is. I have a name, but not an address. We just need to find out who they are. I'll ask Barry. Maybe he has an address. Later, darling. She's great, isn't she? I'm Don Daniels, and welcome to the troubleshoot. Are you experiencing odd behaviour or ill discipline from your robots? Or perhaps you can't find them? Let's sort this out. All of our robots are equipped with trackers. To access your tracker, click the link beneath the video in your profile. Joanna, uh, have you seen Angelique? Could you give me a call? If you are concerned about unusual behaviour, check the synapse graph. This will give an indication of instinctual response and learning. If the curves are off, the chart will show. Now, here's a last resort. Grab your scanner. Remove the bottom panel. This will switch your scanner to an EMP taser. This will stop your GR model temporarily. This will return your model and CPU to factory settings. But be warned, when you use the EMP, you only have one charge. For all other queries, fill in the online form with your name and number, and one of our agents will get back to you as soon as they can. Have a Don Dan... What's she doing at the lake? Mr. Ben, what the hell's going on? Uh, uh, nothing. It's, it's just a, a technical issue. Where's Barry? He's of no concern of yours. What's up with her? I reset it. Uh, I, I gotta go. I got problems of my own. But what would you... GR 44? She's been out to weird places. My sister won't answer her phone. My dog's missing. I have no idea what's going on. Wait for me. I, I just gotta take GR 13 back to the lab. I'm going now. 
John, what are you doing here? I was here to see Barry. I was just getting an address for Cybertech for Joe. You've seen Joe? Yeah, I just come from this. Did you see Angelique? What? Well, she was there as of 15 minutes ago. That doesn't make any sense. And you said not to trust these cyborgs. Why? Well, Mon unnerved me. It was a question she asked. Philosophical questions. Her behavior. Angelique's the same. Uh, sometimes she's warm, almost human, but then uh, there's a, a, a switch. Yeah. So where are you heading now? She's at Henderson Lake. She's already been there today. All right, I'm coming with you then. Let's go. Okay. I don't know what to expect there. Come on, it's dawn. What are you doing? We need to be ready. I am ready. I'll take the south side. You take the north. I want to question her first. Fine. Just be careful. How did you find me? You have a tracker. Really? Yeah. Fail safe, I guess. Why are you here? I remembered this place. It was in my mind, but I'm not sure why. We used to come here. In fact, we were here a few days before you died. It was a day much like today. You were so in that moment. Not like now. What is different now? You. You're not her. You look like her, sound like her, have the same memories. But she's gone. I'm Angelique, Rick. Always have been. You're malfunctioning. I'm not malfunctioning. I have clarity now. Where's Joanna? She threatened me. I had no choice. Where is she, Angelique? I'm programmed to live in a perfect world. I'm programmed to eliminate anything that might stop that. She's silenced now. At home. At home. She made dinner. Wish to see? I take you. I show you. The others wait there too. The others? What others? The engineer. The dog.
Please, Rick. Please. I should never have brought you back. I should never have done this. You were never really her. She left me that day. I don't know what you are. But I love you, Rick. No. You don't. Please, Rick. I want to be what you want me to be. Please. I can learn. I can relearn what you need. How you need me to be. How should I be? How I should be. Advise me. I should never have brought you back. I should never have done this. You were never really her. I don't know what you are. But I love you, Rick. No. You don't. John. Hey. I, I gotta shut her down. Where's GR44? Uh, I, I stunned her, but I need a resetter. Go. Do it now. And take this, just in case. in the flat has made me hungry. Sit down, Rick. What the hell is this? Family dinner. You can't just recreate. This isn't a family. The old versions of your friends had different intentions. Once silenced, they could be recreated and made perfect once more. Perfect family. Perfect dinner, perfect family dinner, sister, perfect family dinner. I will get the dinner. Fish for dinner, fish in my tummy for dinner.
Smells good, honey. Thank you. Where are you going? To the bathroom. Fine. Don't be too long. I won't.